Hello, I'm Rick Michelle, and welcome back to You Can Cook. Let's just go ahead this time and get that intro over and done with. Now, a lot of you know just how much I like um, comfort food, and one of my favorites would have to be the pork belly, and there's so many different ways to cook pork belly, but today, something really special, is I have some beef cheeks. If you've never had beef cheeks, they are, well, to me, they're a couple levels above uh, pork belly. They're that nice, and I, I know how just the term beef cheeks can maybe put some people off, and that's a shame because this really is a food for royalty. Um, it's the toughest, it's probably the toughest and most used piece of meat on the cow because it's constantly chewing. Uh, and there's the very reason why it has to be cooked for so long. But it just gets gelatinous and it just turns almost into a, like a, a jello. I don't know how to describe it. If you never had it, it's hard to describe. But if you had it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the king of comfort food. Now, like just about anything on the face of the planet that you can cook, there are so many different ways to cook it. And today I'm going to show you how one of my favorite ways to cook um, the beef cheeks, although another time I'll show you one of my absolute favorites. But I'm going to cook it in wine. I'm going to have, I've got a, I've got a nice robust cab salve, and I'm going to put in a, probably about a half a cup to a cup of, I've got musket, I usually put in, um, I usually use port, but I've got this musket, so I'm gonna probably use half that bottle. Most slow cooking is super easy. It just takes a, a long time uh, on the oven, but you can be doing other things while it's cooking. So look, this is how simple and easy this is, and it's, gonna, it's just so delectable. The first thing I'm gonna do is chop up a bit of carrot, an onion, and some celery. I'm just gonna soften those up in this big pan. Then I'm gonna put in some flavoring agents like bay leaves, grow my own bay leaves. I've got some pepper seeds. I've got one little piece of bark of cinnamon. I just want maybe a, a tinge of that in there. And I've got a tablespoon of freshly ground coffee. And that's all I'm going to use. I'm gonna cook it for about Four hours, if you know, three to five hours, you're, you're good there. It's not set in stone how long you cook this for, but it has to be a low heat. You just want to simmer it on the top of the stove or get it started on the stove and put it in the oven. Either way, it works out just fine. Those of you that have had beef cheeks before, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you haven't had it, I can promise you this will be one of the best cuts of meat you have ever tasted. Beef cheeks with uh, wine reduction. That's way too big a meal for me. My wife and I would split that. But how nice does that look? If you're a hard worker, or younger bloke, or person, you're gonna gobble that down. I'm 
Rick Michelle. This is You Can Cook. You want to see more stuff like this? Just subscribe to me right here where my face is, and you won't miss. You'll be notified of all the upcoming things. I've got lots of stuff coming up. So long for now, everyone.